Hi. One of my favorite tools in the whole wide world is right here, guns. Guns are some of my favorite tools ever made. And uh, I use them to primarily to collect all the meat that I feed my family. I eat meat and I collect it myself and the easiest way to do that, the most efficient way to do that is with my gun. First things first, never point a gun in an unsafe direction. How hard is that? Ain't nobody over there, I'm good. Ain't nobody up there, I'm good. And ain't nobody over there, I'm good. No problem, problem solved. Nobody over there, nobody over there. People over there! Don't fucking point it that way, Jesus fucking Christ! What the fuck? Don't point it in an unsafe direction, that's it, that's all. Easy enough, problem solved. Anybody there? Guns can be used for a lot of things, you know. Uh, for instance, I collect all my meat with guns, but also on occasion, you could use it to open a beer bottle. No, that's how you open a beer bottle, boys. America. You could use your gun to turn off the alarm clock in the morning. Who am I to say you couldn't use a gun to split firewood? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you could use your gun to turn off the radio. Another great gun use would be to make music. Why not? It's great sound. I love it. Uh, one of the one of the greatest sounds I can hear walking through the woods is gunshots. You know, it means you've done a good job bringing dinner to the table. But your safety is not some magical thing. It isn't. It, it's just a little thin piece of metal in there that keeps the trigger from pulling and, and hitting the firing pin on your bullet or your shell. Uh, so you should never put your hand near the trigger. Keep your finger off the trigger. Don't use the safety as if it's magic. Just use it for what it is. Keep it on and turn it off when you need to turn it off. Uh, basically, keep your gun pointed in a safe direction and you'll always be fine. I've seen more than one gun misfire. I've also seen quite a lot of duds. Some shells come through and they don't go off. Treat the motherfucker like it is. It's a ticking time bomb. Get that motherfucker out of there and toss it. Get it the fuck away from it. Goddamn duds. You don't want to deal with that thing. Just get it out of there. Somebody else's problem now. Know your target and beyond. How hard is that? Oh, uh, there's a deer over there. Oh, wait, my buddy's behind the deer. Don't shoot! Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? Don't fucking point the gun there. It's an unsafe direction. If you're hunting with more than one fucking person, remember where they are. Keep track of the motherfucker. Tell him to make a little noise so you know where the fuck he's at. If you don't, don't fucking shoot. It ain't worth it. You don't want to shoot your... You can't eat your fucking buddy. What the fuck? You can't eat him. What's the point of shooting him? Tired of listening to the fucking guy, I guess. I don't know. Just don't point your gun that way. Everything will be fine. Treat the thing as if it's always loaded. Right? Except for this case. My gun's unloaded. No bullets there. No bullets there. Check your barrel. And make sure it's clear of any restrictions before you shoot. That's pretty simple. It's just a metal flinger is what the fuck it is. It's a tool that flings metal out the fucking end of it. So you use a controlled explosion to fling some metal through the fucking air. Sometimes one projectile, in this case with a shotgun, more than one projectile. So, you should give yourself a pretty large area around your target and beyond to, for, for safety. Go. Anybody there? <laughs> Good. Wanna feel? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I, just, I just woke up with it one day. <laughs> you can get, you see me? 
Alright, ready? You good? Yeah. Okay. One thing I know well is how to have fun with my gun.